I'm Adil Kumar. Thanks for sharing my videos and posting questions. This video is for my student Tarshika and uh, many others who had been asking this question of representing fractions on number line. So I've combined all the examples in one and I hope it will help many of my viewers. The question here is how to represent following fractions on a number line. So we have three different sets. The first one is the numbers are 1 over 2, 3 over 4, 1, 1, 1 over 4. The second set is 1 over 3, 2 over 3 and 5 over 3 and C is 1 over 7, 1 over 1 whole, 2 over 5, 7 over 3. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and as usual, look into my solution. Okay, let's begin with the very first one. We're looking for numbers which are greater than 0, however, less than 2, right? The number 1, 1 over 4 is kind of highest, seems to be, okay, at present. Okay, so we'll draw a number line. Number line is kind of a straight line with arrows on both the sides. <clears throat> now, when we have to represent numbers from half to less than 2, it's a good idea to start with 0. Right? So we'll say let this be 0 and then let this be 1 and equal distance mark another. We will call that as 2. Right? So these are the marks. Now, when we say half, let's mark half on our number line. Half really means it equally divides the number between 0 to 1, right? So half means 1 out of 2. So I have to divide this line segment from 0 to 1 into two equal parts. So let's say the half of this is here, right? So if this is both sides same distance, then this number will be half. So that is how you could represent half. The next number here is 3 over 4. Now to get 3 over 4, we have to divide this 1 into 4 equal parts, right? We have to divide it into 4 equal parts and then take the third part. So we already have 2 equal parts. We'll do half of each. So now we have 4 equal parts. So when we say 3 over 4, we can count from here 1, 2, and 3. Now each is 1 fourth, right? So, so this is 3 over 4. You get an idea. So third, 1 fourth. Number 1 is already marked in red. So that's there. And now let's look into the last number here, which is 1 whole and then 1 out of 4. So this number, 1 whole, 1 out of 4, is somewhere in between 1 and 2. So we reach this point 1, 1 whole, and now 1 out of fourths. These are fourths. So let's divide this 1 to 2 segment into 4 equal parts, right? So we do half and then half of each. So 1 whole is from here, this is 1 whole, right? That is 1 whole. And then that makes it one fourth more. So you could write this up to here as one whole, one out of four. Do you see that? So that is how on a number line you can mark fractions. Now let's look into the next example where purposely I've just kept three as my denominator. So, and I made it very simple to explain you this part. If the denominator is any number, normally, here we had denominator mixed up. So we had to divide it into different parts, right? I'm not introducing LCM since many students at this level may not be conversant with it. So we are trying to follow a very basic method. Okay. Now the numbers which we are looking into are 1 over 3, 2 over 3, and 5 over 3. So these are all one-thirds. Do you see? one-thirds, one of them, two one-thirds, and five one-thirds. 
So what we can do here is we can divide the line segment into one third. Let's say this is one third, one third, one third, one third, kind of like this. Do you see that? All divisions are one thirds, right? So likewise and so on. One third really means that if I start from zero, then one third, two third, three third, that becomes my one. Do you say? So, so one, two, and three third, right? So that becomes my one. So this becomes my one. So three one thirds is one, remember. So three times one third equals to one whole, right? So every time you cover three one thirds, it becomes one. So this is one for us. And then one third, two third, three thirds, that will be two for us. What you could also do is that you could just write 1, 2, 3 and divide them into three equal parts. Do you see that? You could do that also. Perfectly fine. No problems. In fact, it is better to draw 1, 2, 3 and divide them into three equal parts. Okay. Now let's mark 1 third, 1 out of 3. So we have divided this one into three equal parts and we are interested in one out of three. So this becomes one third, the very first position here. Is it okay? Two third will be two out of three. So this is two third for us. Do you see that? That becomes two third. Five thirds is one third, two third, three thirds, four thirds, five thirds. So that becomes five out of three. You can also write 5 out of 3 as 1 whole, 2 out of 3. Do you see that? You could also write 5 out of 3 as, let me write here, 5 out of 3 could be written as 1 whole and then 2 out of 3. As you can see here, 1 whole, so from here we go 1 whole and then 2 out of 3. 1 and 2 one thirds gives you 5 out of 3. 5 thirds. So 5 thirds is greater than 1. Correct? Okay. Now let's take up the last question here. 1 over 7. These are odd numbers. Okay. Uh, now when we have numbers like this, 1 over 7, 1, 2 over 5, 3 over 7, it's kind of difficult at times to plot these points. Since we have to divide a segment one unit long into a portion so that we could take care of one seventh one fifth and one thirds so that's difficult we'll avoid that and follow another method and the method here is we'll just mark uh, segments as one two three okay let's do that okay so we'll begin all our positives we'll begin from zero one two and three Let's look at the number 1 out of 7. It really means what? It really means that I should divide my segment into 7 equal parts, right? So 1 out of 7 means we have to divide 7 equal parts and take the first one. So let's say, let's try, say 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, 5, that doesn't make, so let's come closer, okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, that may work, okay, so we say, well, our segments are like this, this is the first 1 seventh, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, oh, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, oh, it didn't really came out so well, Anyway, this became 9. We'll try to redo it, right? Let's try to redo it. We have to get 7, okay? So let's do like this. 1, slightly bigger. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and that becomes 7. Now it works, right? Okay. So we made a rough sketch, but I think we still got it. So we got now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and that is the 7th one. So we have effectively divided the segment 0 to 1 into 7 equal parts. 
So when you do it, you may have to redo, right? So my suggestion is take a lighter ink to divide. I'll do it later, right? Take a lighter ink and then divide. Now it becomes simpler. We want one out of seven. So the very first one here is one out of seven. We'll make it a point here, one out of seven, right? So seven equal part, right? Mark the first one. as 1 out of 7. Does, is that clear to you, right? Let's do the other number. 1 whole, 2 out of 5. That means we already reached here 1 whole and now we need 2 out of 5. So let's divide this into 5 equal parts. We'll do trial and error. This is 1 7, so longer than that, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, and this becomes 5. So kind of approximate. So let's try to redo it a bit. So we say, well, this is like, this was longer. So we say one, two, three, four, and five. That makes sense. So one whole, two out of five. One whole, and then we go one out of five and two out of five. So right there, we get one whole, two out of five. Does it make sense to you? Correct? So we get one whole, two out of five on our line segment. Now what should I do for seven out of three? Now one way is, we can treat seven out of three as equals two. If I divide seven by three, I get two wholes. Remainder is one, one out of three, right? So that means two wholes for me is, let's do it in a different ink two holes. So from here we got two holes. That is two holes. Now one third. So this segment, let me divide it into three equal parts. So that becomes one third. And so this is seven over three. So that is the way we could quickly get to seven out of three. So you could convert these improper fractions to mixed fractions and mark your fraction on the number line. So I hope you understand that there could be a mess up, but the idea is to understand the concept. The concept is to represent any fraction, any fraction. We have to divide a whole into equal number of parts, which are given by the denominator and move to the numerator part, right? So the numerator was one, denominator seven. We divided first piece into seven equal parts and one out of seven was the very first one right so that is how you could represent fractions on a number line i hope the concept is clear uh, i'll take a few more videos to show you how other methods could be adopted to represent fractions on a number line thanks for watching feel free to post questions and all the best